Okay. <clears throat> okay, good morning, good afternoon everybody. We're going to start with our two-minute safety talk. So this group, we're going to talk on the hazard that is glass. Okay. After we've completed here, we're going to do stairs. Right. So let's start. What is the hazard of glass? You need to talk hard. Okay. The, ha the hazard of glass is that it cuts from, oh, you get cuts from damaged glass. You get cuts from flying glass due to implosion flowing, following mechanical stress. You get burns from heated glass, poisoning following cuts by contaminated glass. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Very good. Right. Did everybody hear that? Okay, good. Now, my friend. Come, not ish. <laughs> that you get with brandy and coke. <laughs> what mitigator must be used to minimize this, ident this identified? So she identified the hazards was that it can break and we can, we can cut. And she actually mentioned other glasses as well. So we will refer to this. Okay. So what are you going to do to make sure that this glass does not break? Does not break, sir. I'll Talk in the mic. I'll put the correct uh, uh, pictogram pictograms on. Yes. around it. Um, I'll make sure that it is covered itself. It's covered. Glass. Very good. And I will ensure that uh, to avoid any heating in excess of okay. those. Okay. Very good. Like give to that. The, okay. Let me give back. Yeah. All right. So there we said that we will cover it. We will most pro probably be put a protective cover onto the glass so that it doesn't break and cut. Okay. And we will put up some warning to say, so actually you answered part of part three. Okay, so what steps will you follow to inform your fellow employees, that's you guys, to inform us of the hazard? <coughs> I hope the lipstick and stuff is sweet. <laughs> Sorry. So what will I do to in inform my fellow colleagues? What must I do? He answered some of this stuff. So the one thing that he already answered was, we will put up some notification identifying the hazard. But what else? <coughs> you must talk loud. I have, can't hear. The guys at the back can't hear you. So talk. So what would you do to tell everybody, guys, this class is going to prob a problem in a hazard in terms of glass. So how will you inform them of this hazard, that this is a hazard? No, answer it, answer it. Say, I need to get the captured go. Say. We should have a safety talk. Um. Yes, we need a safety talk. Identifying the hazards, that's correct. What else? There's another one thing, a very important thing that we need to do. We must make our people aware of the hazard. So you mustn't lie with your arms. You mustn't put heavy stuff on it. So some sort of all right. Good. <coughs> right now this side stairs. What is this as it associated with stairs? You know and no, you must hold it yourself. <laughs> you think I'm the isn't they uh with stairs uh uh you it's you can fall sir. So that's one very important point. The, the hazard that is identified with stairs is that I can slip and fall. Right. So that is, is there other hazards also identified to that? Yes. If it rains, it can be slippery. Slippery, you can, of wet, you're going to fall. Right. Thank you. So my girl, what will I do to make sure that nobody, slip and fall what must I put so what must I put in place to minimize this hazard um, you must talk in the mic yes yeah, yeah. <coughs> okay uh, I think you should um, put out warning signs yes telling very good. them there must be a warning sign indicating yes. the hazard yes yes what else? yeah so to be specific on what uh, uh, the warning sign is about I can tell them not to run, yes. especially if it's uh, raining. Yes. And to uh, tell people who are responsible. Okay, no, no. no. 
Okay. Yes, you, yes. You've, I'm you've already going to the third step. Okay, now you're finished. <laughs> right. So what steps do you need to inform your fellow colleagues? So she's already started doing that. So oh. what do you say? This is your moment of glory. Let's go for it. <laughs> right. So what would you do now to tell them, listen, we've identified all these hazards that you're going to slip, you're going to fall when it's wet. So what must we do now to inform everybody of this danger? What? There are certain people who don't know, like I've seen like in campus guys, they don't take step by step, they actually skip a certain step. Okay, all right, so that's the, that, that's the problem. So how are you going to tell them about the problem? It's your role now, you, you're now the safety representative of this class, and you need now to tell everybody that's here how, what not, what to do. Yeah, what, what must I not do? To so you need to have an information session. That's basically what you're referring to. Telling everybody, guys, if you go down the stairs or up the stairs, you're not allowed to double step, single step, three-point contact, two feet, eyes on the path, and hand on the railing, three-point contact. That's what we need to do. So I need to inform everybody. All right. Okay. Anybody else? Thank you. Right. So this is the two main dangers that is associated with this class. Do you agree? Right. We have glass and then we have steps just as we go down. Right. And walking with your hands in your pockets is not a very safe way. You're going to fall and break your face. Okay. Right. Does everybody hear me? Because I saw now a few students going up the stairs before me. Hands in the pockets, the other one had a cell phone not looking where I'm going. You're going to get yourself very, very seriously injured. Okay. Thank you.